My people, Chef Boy RG here. Sometimes I'm the budget chef. Sometimes I'm the culinary gourmet chef. But tonight, we will be cooking a chicken. Cooking a chicken, you say? It's a long lost art. Why is it a long lost art, you say? Rotisserie chickens, Walmart, your supermarket, Costco, Sam's Club. Anywhere you go, you can get a rotisserie chicken. They're always delicious. They're the skin is perfectly done, they're moist inside, and you can get them between six and eight dollars. So who cooks a whole chicken anymore? Well tonight, the chef, we will be cooking a whole chicken. Are you ready to get cooking? As must you know, Chef Gordon Ramsay, I do admire him. But I realized I got my love for cooking from this man here. He would enter his show, he would run, he would jump over a chair holding what? A glass of wine. If you know who this man is, let me know. He's my sous chef tonight. This is the extra credit. You might even get a chance to dine at the chef's table if you get this right. Oh yeah. All right, drink a choice tonight. Night Swim Porter from Copper Tail Brewery from Tampa, Florida. It's a porter, sometimes it's called an old English ale. Yeah, don't be scared of dark beer. It's not the same as American lager, what we call lawnmower lager. It's a porter. Night swim by Copper Tail. That's the beverage, but you can grab a beverage of your choice, anything you like. Sit down, relax, and watch the video and let's get cooking. This will be uploaded to my YouTube channel when we get done. All right, let's chop up some onions. I prefer white onion, but you can use a yellow onion, Spanish onion, sweet onion, any kind of onion. And let's cut up an orange into slices. Oh yeah, I prefer a Florida orange. Our tourism is down, so Florida needs the money. So we're gonna line the bottom of a dip baking sheet with that, a baking dish. And we're also gonna stuff, there's our bird. We're gonna stuff the inside of the bird with onions and oranges. Oh yeah, but make sure you take the giblets out first, the neck, the heart, and the liver. Make sure the bird is clean extremely well. And once it's clean, you pat it down. You can use an old dish towel. You can use a t-shirt or you can use an old pair of socks. But I prefer fresh white paper towels. Make sure your bird is clean. And let's go to the next step. All right, a little bit of ECDC going for you here. What do we do with our bird? We coat it both sides with about a teaspoon of olive oil, rub that in, then you use your favorite spices. You can use anything you like. What did we use, the chef used? Well, we used lemon pepper. We used this Mrs. Dash original, one of my favorite. We used a little bit of Old Bay. I know it's not just for shrimp, it does have an extra little special flavor, and paprika on top. Then we finished it with some ground black pepper. And yes, we tied the legs up as it was trying to run away. Ha ha! Alright, here's our bird in the roasting pan. Oh yeah, look at there. Legs are tied up so it doesn't run away. On top of onions and Florida orange. And it's also stuffed with onion and orange. And lots of spices on top. We are preheating the oven. About 375 degrees for one hour. The internal temperature should be at least 160. 160 is good. 170, 180 would work, but guess what? You're gonna dry the bird out. We don't want dried birds, so internal temperature at least 160. We will use an electronic thermometer to check that. Oh, doesn't that look good? It's ready to go into the oven. All right, took a little longer than expected, but the bird is done. Internal temperature over 160, 160, 165. Look at that bird. I know it's cheaper to buy yourself one. It's done at Walmart or the supermarket. Rotisserie. But here is a real bird. It's done in the oven. Look at that bird. Now we're gonna let it sit and rest for about 15 minutes. It reconstitutes all the juices throughout the bird. Are you ready? Let's let it rest and see what we've got. All right, here we go, finished product. Whole cooked chicken. Better than rotisserie. 
about five dollars and fifty cents for this big bird we'll get about four each out of it look at there some frozen peas we steamed we've got them onions on there doesn't that look good if I can do it you can do it bon appetit says chef boy RG